Pixel 11's Katie Corrado is live in the newsroom with more, and I think it's fair to say it got pretty ugly. Last oh, yeah. Night. Oh, it did. And the crowd also booing, cheering. It was a lot of excitement last night. Now, Governor Murphy has a 13 point lead in the gubernatorial race, according to the latest Monmouth University poll, but that didn't stop him from having such a lively debate with Republican challenger Jack Chitterelli. This was the pair's first time going head to head, debating everything from COVID policies to taxes, LGBTQ issues, women's rights. Governor Murphy painted Chitterelli as a Trump supporting extremist who would send the state backward and said his participation in a stop the steal rally after the 2020 election should disqualify him from running. Chitterelli mainly criticized Governor Murphy for how he handled two big topics, COVID nursing home deaths and Hurricane Ida. You make decisions based on the data, the science, the facts. You don't put your finger in the air and see which way the political wind is blowing. He asked the nursing homes to do the impossible. Nursing home operators told him this was going to be an impossibility in terms of keeping people safe. Saying that it's your call and governments can't mandate a vaccine uh, or, or no masking is akin to supporting drunk driving. It impacts both the person who's driving drunk, but all the rest of us. Do I believe that government has a right to tell people they have to take a medicine? No, I don't. My job is to provide information. And the pair will face off in the second debate on October 12th at Rowan University. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Katie Corrado, PIX11 News. Hazel. All right, All right Katie, thanks so much.